curve is the tallest residential high-rise in the history of Vancouver, which is also the tallest passive house building in the world. It will have 60 stories. It is the first time that we will really be pioneering and raising standards in terms of um, lowering carbon emissions and uh, increasing the energy efficiencies of um, a residential building. Curve is truly a game changer like Tesla in the automotive world, where the, the developer is able to use what we have learned so far in real estate development and curate something that is truly a paradigm shift into a new era. Highest air quality, um, soundproofing quality, and getting a better performance home through the engineering, the materials, and the design of the entire structure. The city had uh, asked us to consider going beyond their standards, their environmental standards in terms of our building. And so I went back to the city and said, hey, listen, we're, 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 we're reconsidering. We think we're going to do Passive House. And they were over the moon. A project like Curve, given its size and, and, and nature, requires a lot of energy modeling and it's complex. And to get it to get it right, we have a very large team that includes one of the key players, uh, Envelope and Passive House Consultant. And on our project, it's RDH. Because we have a uh, common entrance for the, the uh, fresh air coming into our building, we're able to put on much better filtration for that. So given the, the increased number of forest fires and the increased number of days of, of having smoke in the, in the atmosphere uh, in our city, uh, we feel the residents will benefit from, uh, from the increased filtration. They'll also have a much more comfortable space to live in. They'll be able to put seats up against the windows in the wintertime uh, because the thermal characteristics of the envelope are, are so good that there'll be no drafts or cool spots in the suite. One of the features of our building that we're, we're still looking at, um, because the building is still in the design stage, is using uh, a hybrid of electrochromic glass and vacuum glass. And it's a window that, where traditionally you have a, a double glazed or triple glazed that gets up to as high as maybe four and a half R value. Where curve and the passive house designation um, would really be able to springboard and inspire other developers um, and other real estate professionals to do more, do better for not only us in the current time and generations, but also for our future generations.